The Queen's Beast. The Griffin of Edward the Third. Silver Steeler here. Let's take you to one of my favorite spots down by the river, real close by Daleville, Indiana. And you are here. And here we are on the banks of White River, Daleville, Indiana, on this October fall foliage day. And this is the Griffin of Edward the Third, the second in the series of Queen Beast, two ounce silver rounds, and one of my favorite designs out of all eight of them. I just love the detail on that. Anyway, the griffin is considered a mythical beast. It is a creature that signifies courage and strength combined with guardianship, vigilance, swiftness, and keen vision. Pretty cool little story behind that one. Yeah, let's look out here. It's beautiful. The water's really still. And there's the queen, featured on all eight of the designs that have been released. And two more to go. So why don't we take this to the next location? Our second stop with this coin will be in Mount Summit, Indiana. Summit Lake State Park. And you are here. And here we are. Mount Summit State Park. Yeah, it's beautiful out here. Listening to the splash of the waves. Here we are with the Griffin of Edward III again. It's a beautiful round. The shield shows the round tower of Windsor Castle where Edward III was born. And it's got a royal standard flying from the turret. Enclosed by two branches of oak surmounted by the royal crown. Very nice design. Like I said, I really like this one out of the eight I've got. This is probably right up there in the number three, two, or one spot. I just really haven't figured it out yet. And there's the queen again. And just turning these on an angle to catch the sun the best I can. Just beautiful out here. Let's go to the next location. Our third and final location takes us to Cataract Falls in Cataract, Indiana, once again. And you are here. And here we are once again at Cataract Falls, Indiana. Cataract Falls. And like I've said in my previous video, there are so many different sections around here to shoot, so you're going to get a lot of different views of these falls. Again, the highest volume of water falling over any falls in the state of Indiana. I don't have the amount right in front of me, but I've been to most of them here in Indiana, and this by far has the best volume of water that's fallen. Try to get down here during the fall. Unfortunately, a week before we got here, we had a pretty good windstorm, and it just devastated the fall foliage around here for the most part, but there's still some of it clinging to the trees. Just not a lot. So here you go. There is the Griffin of Edward III, the second in the series. Remember to like, subscribe, and all those other good things. I'll see you on the next video.